haven't been accepted as a low bidder. For 2012, the low bidder will be the get the award, not in, not necessarily in the law. Okay, so I'm going to make a motion to remove that item on page 304, awarding it to MMR, since the RFP is out, they had a pre-bid meeting this morning, and from what I understand from people that attended it, there were a lot of unanswered questions, such as how many cameras we even have to be maintained. Did you attend that meeting? I did not attend the meeting, but I understand they did ask some questions, and we are looking at uh, how to accommodate that. It may involve uh, a short delay on when I expect it to be able to award the contract. But uh, we would want to get a, a good product from this, and I think dealing with the people that, that uh, raised questions this morning is, is, is prudent. Uh, one of the things that we are, are looking into with that, however, is whether we can continue the MMR contract if we have to extend the bid date, if we can extend that contract for two or three months to cover that period. But last time you and I talked about this last year, we didn't have a contract with MMR, remember? Yes, sir. And you said you were going to bid it out by February of last year. Uh, that's exactly what my intention had, had been, and, and actually uh, that's the... the well, how did we get a new contract with MMR that didn't come in front of the council? I'm not aware of a contract that we have with them for 2012, but that's... 2011. The, I think we've got the contract, uh, and I, I, I'm just telling you what I, I expect the answer to be, is that we got the contract because it was it was in the budget for the crime cameras. But we had to approve it, I thought, if it was over 50 or 50,000. There, there, there was money in the budget for both the shot spotters and, and the crime camera, man. I know, but we had to approve the professional services contract, the vendor. Uh, I'm just telling you what, what I, uh, I'm guessing the answer to that is. I don't, I don't have the answer to that, but I certainly will, will get that to you. But we are bidding out the contract for the shot spotter is, is now being maintained That's by the manufacturer. Shot spotter. I know, I know. Um, but we just amended the bid to include tropos. You were aware of that? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. We amended the RFP or RFQ or whatever it's called to include tropos like a week ago. Yes, sir. An addendum. And we're giving them a deadline of December 28th to submit their bid. That's what we're, we're looking at, at uh, possibly having to extend that based on what they're telling us that it will take to, to analyze information. I, I can tell you that if we don't extend it, that I'm trying to think of a diplomatic way to put it, that it's going to look like the fix was in. I, I, and we are looking at that wasn't what diplomatic. I apologize. I'm sorry, do I? That wasn't very diplomatic. I apologize. But no. I, I, that's I, why I, I see MMR is awarded I, it in I here. And it your, your issue is one that we have talked about uh, a number of times. Uh, I, I think the only uh, we're looking at some some what we have to do to to extend that date. Okay. They're telling us, you know, probably. Well, let's delete this item from the budget because we don't know who it's going to be awarded to. You would agree with that? Well, I, I, what I would like to see is that we maintain, once we figure out how long we're going to have to extend the bid date, that we continue the maintenance of the cameras with MMR until that date. Yeah, but this is for uh, the year 2012. This is not... Yes, sir. This is for over four hundred five thousand, not to exceed four hundred five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. I would, uh, I would tell you that, that that's you know what we're looking at is whether we can extend that by possibly ninety days to accommodate the extension of the bid date. But that's that's what we talked about last year, John. I'm sorry you kind of inherited this mess, but last year you promised me to have it done by February, and now you're saying we're going to need another ninety days. So we're already about a year. And two or three months behind 
And you know the controversy surrounding MMR. Yes, sir, I, I, I do. Okay. But I, I mean, the prior, know that, that the prior owner is in jail now for 17 years. Who is also not an owner of MMR. Well, Councilman Lee, and let me help you here a little bit. I, I understand exactly where you're going with it, but the answer is one question. The way that they were able to go ahead with the contract last year is because we approved the budget. And that money was in last year's budget. Now, what you're looking at is the money is now in next year's budget. Uh, and I'm not telling you what, what to do or not do here, but if we approve this year's budget, would it just be exactly like it is right here? Then we, in effect, approve the money for whatever contract is approved at that point in time. That's how the contract money got approved last year because we did not look at it the way we're looking at it this year with a spending priority. I, and, you know, if we approve the budget this year with this in it like it is, that. I, I just. You know, I have concerns. New Orleans used the same company, and they scrapped their program. They just abandoned it. And they we abandoned it because there were issues with uh, their plan of government. Okay. And I'm, I, I don't know. You probably know more than me about that. But, you know, you promised me last year that we were going to submit this out for a fair bid by February. The same company has it, and the same company is in 2012. And we're bidding it out. I mean, it just it doesn't look good, and it doesn't make sense. We are not. There is no plan to award a 12-month contract to MMR unless they are the low bidder on the once these are evaluated. Okay. Now, what I can't tell you today is whether we're going to need 60 more days or 90 days to get to that point. Uh, what? But I think I'm trying to figure good. out a way to to leave the item without taking the money away. I think you can leave the money in the budget for that and take away the, do not name the, the uh, MMR as the recipient of it, and then we would have to come back to you for, for approval of either a short-term contract or a long-term contract. Okay, Councilman Luke, uh, I'm not trying to cut you short here or anything along those lines. First of all, we've got to take care of Councilman Welch's amendment motion. Secondly, if you want to do what you want to do, it's real simple. All you do is make an amendment to the budget to delete that item. Uh, that, that's how that would be done. Uh, and, but let's get back to where we need to go. Councilman Bourgeois first, then we need to vote on Councilman Welch's motion uh, if Wolf is ready to say it the way he wants to say it. So, Councilman Bourgeois. 